So first I'm going to remove the fourth clutch housing retaining bolt using a 40 Torx socket, which is here. And that's not going to work. So I've got to loosen it up first. Okay, so that didn't work, so now I'm going to loosen it up with my handy dandy girl strength. And it is loose. I need a 3 8 inch 12 point socket to remove the fourth clutch bolt. And uh, GM recommends replacing both of these bolts and hopefully they come in my master kit. Now it's nice and lubricated. Okay, we are removing the six extension housing bolts and the extension housing. Um, and uh, this is the extension housing seal, and it is very cracked. I mean, it's got quarter inch cracks all around it, so that's probably why all this is here. And I have loosened them, but it was not pretty, so. You can't see it. And these are 15 millimeter bolts. Let's see just how long they are. Extension housing box. <coughs> and this should just come off. And 
there is the O-ring, which is going to be replaced. The extension housing O-ring seal. That is rusty. And so I've got to remove this snap ring here, and I don't have the proper tool, but I will see if these needle nose pliers will work. Almost. Okay, and these needle nose pliers and this flathead screwdriver. anything. It shouldn't be scratched, but I think I'm replacing that anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! I almost had it. <laughs> Keep going. Now I gotta flip this thing around. The um, snap ring is flat on the back side that goes towards the transmission and slightly curved on the outside. I mean, you can barely see it, but that'll at least let me know how it goes back in. Okay, so I don't have a pump housing removal tool, so I'm going to stick a um, screwdriver into the top furthest most and pry this pump out. Okay, so we've got a um, thing here and that's all that came off and I think I'm replacing that anyway okay I have a Tupperware just for you so when I remove it I can have all the parts in there into the belly of the beast. Remove the overdrive carrier and turbine shaft assembly and it pulls right out. Now I've got to remove a um, uh, snap ring here. this. Then I should be able to take out these fourth gear frictions and steel. Let's see what they look like. I don't know if they look good or not. But we've got a cover plate sort of thing and then a brown one and then a steel and back and forth and they look good to me. Now I'm going to remove the forward clutch housing assembly without using a special tool. This rust washer right here. Let's see. Okay, it does come straight out. 
Alright, so this is the direct clutch housing. There's some discoloration on the front here. I don't know if that matters. This has got some parts. And there's a metal seal. A little couple of nicks on the back of this guy. the intermediate band and it was just sitting in there and I, I've got a new one of these ordered too. <clears throat> that may be why my bronze goo is so pretty. Alright, we've got another snap ring here. being difficult. See, I got that. Snap ring. I don't know why these aren't coming out. <coughs> hmm. Read the directions. 